Hi everyone, it's Sandy here and thank you all for heading over and joining me here on my YouTube channel. I have here a uh, June's monthly kit by Coco and Reno. So I'm part of their design team. Um, I did receive my June kit only last week, only because of all the delay uh, with shipping at the moment um, that's being shipped internationally. Um, I don't receive mine a little bit later. But that's fine at least it's better late than ever so for those of you that have already received their uh, june kit which is their photo uh, cutting dies and coordinating stamp set um, i thought i'd share with you some of the projects that i have put together and um, give you some inspiration as well on uh, some of the projects that you might like to make as well and if you want to see the sneak peek of their june kit Oh, sorry the July kit it will be um, on their Instagram so head over to their uh, Instagram and you can see the sneak peek of their uh, July kit and it's really really great it's a fun kit as well uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what is in the June kit for those that haven't received it as well or if you're interested in purchasing it I'll also put the link down below to their uh, online uh, online store for you so you can subscribe to their monthly uh, kits as well uh, so this is what you will receive. It comes in a really nice uh, soft acetate uh, uh, pocket with a nice uh, pink snap lock to keep everything together. And I'll just take everything out in here. And there's also a, a, a nice soft pouch as well to put your um, your dies in there as well. So what will you get in this kit? Um, again, it's their photo photo uh, kit you get this large die it's a, a picture frame die and then it comes built in with the little stand that you could use to stand up the picture frame which is this one here I'll just put this to the side so this is what it looks like when you put it together and, and on the back here is the uh, part that you can uh, assemble to create the stand it's already got some score lines and you can just stand it up like that and then you can add your photo on the inside I've made a, a photo mat so then I can put my photo here and then just slide it on the inside and then I can stand it up here on my craft desk so that's really cute and you can also make this into a shaker card if you wanted to make a shaker card out of it so there are a lot of ways you could utilize this fun uh, die, which is that one. So I'll just show you what it looks like when you run it through the cutting machine. This is how it looks like when you run it through. So it will also cut the frame bit here. So you'll get this little part cut out. And then there are score lines on the inside for you to uh, adhere the pocket together. And what I've done here, if you want to use it as a shaker or for other uh, projects and you don't want this showing, um, this part here that, that's been cut out to create the window, you can just place that on the inside and adhere that to the back here and then you'll be able to have that as your background on the inside. So that will cover the stand bit and you'll see that you won't notice it when you close everything up. Just sort of line it up so it's in line with the frame so that's another way to do that and that's what i've done here i've actually covered mine with the backing of this window so you don't get to see this bit showing so that's um the picture frame i love this this is a really nice die so that's that one i'll just put that there and then there are a few other dies that you get so you can have fun playing with them as well. There are two small Polaroid shaped dies and this one has um, the word smile and this one has a little heart in the middle. So you get those two and I have made these cute little picture frame or Polaroid frames and then I placed the stamp on the inside which is these these two stamps here and this is the stamp kit how fun is this I love these stamps uh, so what I done was I stamped the image onto some cardstock and then adhered it to the um, to the back of the picture frame 
Polaroid frame and I've added some vellum as well just to give it a softer texture and this is just one of my little flower embellishments just to finish it off and just to pop some colour onto the Polaroid frame so this is the other really lovely uh, stamp love these stamps so that's those two and then there is this really cute camera and one of those word bubbles you also get these two word die cuts or dies. This one says smile. This one says say cheese. I didn't cut these ones out. I forgot to cut them out for the video. And this one as well. But I did run this one through because I really, really like this little cute camera. And I made these cute embellishments with the uh, camera. These are just so cute. I had so much fun making these and I could then use these on my uh, projects as well. And what I've done here to layer the camera, I um, I just had one of these die banner shape. I then layered uh, one of my like medallion embellishments. I have these in my, in my store if you would like to purchase these. And then all I've done there was just place that on the top I added some uh, pop dots and then I placed the I've got a little camera here and then I just placed that as well on the top of that and I just added some pop dots to where I was able to adhere it to the banner shape so that's how I done that and then a, a word sentiment and then I placed a little tassel just on the top here so that's those ones and then the medallion embellishments that are these ones in my store you get a pack of six you also get uh, six word sentiments in the pack and um, this vellum pack uh, pocket that you could reuse that I've also made so if you're interested I have that in my store but again these are just so cute I really love these so easy to make so that was made with the little camera so that's those and then there is also this um, star stamp sheet as well which you could use uh, to stamp so I didn't get to use that yet either but um, I will when I get the chance I also then stamped out where did I put the stamps I stamped out these girls I just love them they're just so pretty I did stamp them out and then on some plain white cardstock and then I fussy cut them out so I could use these as well on other projects of mine so I just stamped it on one of these just um, they're like a printing A4 paper for the printer um, so then I just cut it out and I'm just going to fussy cut that out so they're the little uh, the stamps that I've done for those so these are my projects I do hope you uh, enjoy these projects and if you're interested in becoming a subscriber for Coco and Reno's monthly kit I will put the link down below for you and I do hope you enjoy this video and my project share and I'll see you all soon. Bye!